A makeover aims to transform your beauty and shopping habits and refresh <laughs> your whole look. It usually includes an assessment of the colors of clothes and makeup that suits you best, a haircut, a full makeup, and some information and inspiration on how to combine colors and shapes of clothes to suit your body shape and skin tone. A makeover may include other treatments as well, such as a manicure or longer term options such as a health and fitness regimen. We would give you tips on what to do and you still feel like you but with a brand new sexy look so in order to make you feel like a million dollars here are five steps to the best makeover why because this is daily top five five four three two one watch me all right if you want to get a makeover the first thing you should probably do is to get a mani Heady massage and facial session. Regular nail appointments not only keep your fingers and toes free of hang nails and overgrown cuticles, but they can also be a super relaxing experience as well. There's nothing better than sitting in a massage chair with your feet soaking after a long day at work. A pretty manicure can also pull together your completed look. Yes, mm. that's right. But then, you know, I'm sure somebody who's watching right now thinks, um, okay, so I have to have a lot of money to do this because especially when, you know, you have to employ somebody to do that for yeah. you. But if you don't have so much, it is something that you can do because, I mean, take a cue from Dala. Dala does this, I don't know, how um, she does not like being pampered. It's very strange. She's weird, right? Massaging me when it's not uh, pizza stuff. When it's, and so she's when it's not pizza. If so, yeah, you tell them. You don't have soft, so much. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't like massage. Sorry, for. give me money. That is enough massage. Massage my ego. Yeah. Um. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, like you said, um, is even if you can't do it, yeah. find a friend that likes to do. That it. likes to yeah. do. Yeah. Do a sleepover. Yeah. See, even my mom. Yeah, my mom will say, Ah, this is your leg. You will bring it to buckets, boil water, foods. You, you get away. You understand? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's something that you should definitely do. I have a sister that done. I used to do that for me. Shout out to Esther. Uh, yeah. She used to do it for me uh, in the house, uh, you know, and she loved doing it. Wow. I, I think she should even take up something like that and learn it, just like Ramata at the makeup room. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Make money for me. Yes, I actually also right. have uh, male friends that do it. They go for pedicure. And whenever I'm talking to guys, like, oh, get your manicure and pedicure, they're like, nah, guys are not supposed to. But guys, do it. You pamper yourself. I know a lot of guys. I don't like dirty do guys, it? by the way. Yeah. So be sure to. All right. All right. So, can we nah. say um, today, ladies, uh, take your man to go get a yeah. manicure and a pedicure. Or, okay, so guys also say that they don't like to go to sit in the salon because it's like weird with. Oh, yeah, home so, service. you can actually do home service. Yeah, that's right. For your that's man. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Yeah, okay. but do after they do for you, don't go and follow another girl. Oh, wow. Oh, dirty. Please. <laughs> I, let's just move on already before you begin. It turns to relationship <laughs> talk. <laughs> Visit the salon. One of the easiest and best ways to start an extreme makeover is to begin with your hair. The cut, color, and the way we style it has the ability to speak volumes about who we are as a person. Changing even one little detail can have an impact on our overall look. The ways to revive your hair and give it some wow factors seem to be endless, okay? You can also go the extra mile by accessorizing with cute headbands, bows, or hair clips for an unexpected finished touch yeah and that can make your hair go from zero to one that's right or one thousand yeah like you may just have uh, a plain long hair and you're tired of it could be a frontal and you just decide to accessorize it style yeah. and people are like oh this hair is nice like the same yeah. hair you don't like even my dread uh you know i did crochet some weeks ago and then when I was buying everything, I had it in my head that I was going to accessorize it. So I bought cowries, I bought, you know, stuff that Those you can... Pins, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was really nice. I loved it. I, I lo it. You know, every time I look at it, yeah. and then I want to take it out, mm -hmm. you know, the look alone and the... No, no I, I absolutely love that look on you, actually. Thank you. The dress. We'll bring it back at some point in time. Uh, but it was painful. But... <laughs> I couldn't sleep for one week. I'm sorry. Don't discourage them. Don't discourage them. Uh, no, I'm not discouraging. <laughs> I'm just talking about the. I'm not talking about the accessories. <laughs> accessories. <laughs> All right, number three on our list, and I'm sure everybody will like this one. Just a sack by get with the ulos to go shopping. Now that you have done an extreme makeover on your hair, skincare, and makeup routines, it is time to complete your makeover with a clothing overhaul. 
Figuring out what kind of body shape you have will give you the best idea of what style of clothing will be most flattering on your body. Once you know that, it will save time when you are shopping for a new wardrobe or staple pieces because you will know exactly what you are looking for and what you should avoid. Make sure you're picking pieces that balance out your body. That's That's balance yaga. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. for me, especially with the fact that you know what I'm talking about. Okay. My mom regla. <laughs> So what I do is that there are certain clothes. If I shop for from you, yeah. and I shop from you often, you would have known that no, there are things your that type, you yeah. show me. Yeah. Okay, so I really do not like to stress myself, especially with the fact that you know maybe you are giving me uh, tank tops that have this shape, like they're crossed or something. Yeah. And um, you know most times I really want to wear something underneath because I, I you get so. I'm not going to be stressing myself wearing certain clothes because Wahala. they don't, it, like, they're not for me. It's going to stress me a lot. And then when I look at my shape and I know that this is not even going to flatter me, mm -hmm. I don't even go for them. There are things in my head already that I know because, you know, over time, I've come to yeah. realize that they're not my style. And so I would never go for them because they will not flatter me one bit. So, anyway. there, was, so there was this uh, makeover show, I think, on E, How Do I Look? Yeah. Jimmy Mai. Yeah, yeah. And that was, what, that was a show that made me love Jimmy Mai, the way they used to transform people. Yeah. yeah. Like, one moment, you're looking like a very homeless person, and next moment, I'm like, OK, yeah, she's wow. a businesswoman. Yeah. She's got billions. So uh, knowing what suits your body is actually the key to looking good. And when you're comfortable in what you wear, when you see people admire you, also boost your confidence. Mm. So it helps a lot. All right. Okay, let's get to the next point. Invest in skincare and get your makeup done. The next big change you should consider making when giving yourself a complete makeover is investing in your skincare. A lot of younger women regret that they didn't take great care of their skin from a young age, but it's better late than never. Taking care of your skin will give you a naturally beautiful canvas to play with when you are ready to up your makeup game. And there are many ways to make sure you're doing right by your skin. Also visit a professional for the best makeup. All right, so this one, you can't even- You can't uh, avoid. I mean, you, you have to keep talking about <laughs> it because it is the way you use your skin mm -hmm. that you meet it in future. Yeah. I mean, you know, because <laughs> even the things that you take in, you mm -hmm. drink a lot of water, you use, and you don't even have to spend so much. Oh. It is not about getting all the cosmetics in the mm -hmm. whole world. Yeah. Find the one that works for you. Yeah. Uh, it's funny that this is even on this list because I saw a video yesterday. I don't know why I didn't send it to you about a guy that broke up with his girlfriend because she was wearing her makeup for three days. Ah. Yeah. And she was like, uh, I paid a hundred oh, wow. for this Whoa. makeup. And the guy was like, for an event, he said the makeup should have expired when the event finished. Yeah. Which had, it yeah. was day three. And he was like, no. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you see this uh, makeup issue. If you do that, you're ruining your skin. Yeah. I think one of the earliest things I learned from my mom is whatever happens in life, I don't know how it's, I don't know how tired you are, whatever the case is, wash your face. No, you have to. Before. Some people don't know. Yeah, they don't. Some people use baby wipe and go and sleep. No, somebody was wash still your talking about face. this morning how I've been wearing makeup every day. In fact, there was one time I used to do this show five days a week, and then I'll make wear makeup every time. And you can imagine, like, having makeup every blessed Crazy. Day. Crazy, right? So you have to take everything out. And some people don't even know that you wipe it first. Yes. You yes. Wash. Yes. Because <sighs> there are some places that even when you wash, your hand can't get there. Mm -hmm. So the wipe would do the base work. And then by the time you wash it, it cleanses it. Huh. Please take care of your skin, uh, I beg. Thank you very much and God bless. All right, number five on our list, feel confident in yourself and slay. Whether you choose to try only a handful of these tips or you dive right into completing all, you have the tools to complete a head-to-toe extreme makeover. Remember that feeling confidence is key to a successful makeover. So get out there and flaunt the new you. I mean, we can't say this enough because uh, even if you wear the best clothes and they flatter you, if you yep. don't have the confidence to carry it, to get into a room and you own it, if you don't do that, <laughs> the clothes go to wear you, <laughs> not you wearing the clothes. I'm sorry. But, yeah. So, so I, I absolutely love the last um, picture that was just put up on the screen. On the left hand side, the guy was looking like a homeless guy. Yeah. And on the right hand side, they had him in a in a suit, yeah. and he was looking so good, like you wouldn't even believe is. he's the same person. Like that's just see, it's confidence for me. Like look, look, how do these people look <laughs> like the same 
Ah uh ah. -uh. That's what you call it's an extreme makeover. See, is how you are even wearing rubbish, but you have confidence and people are clapping for you. Yeah, then. But this, if the guy in blue came to say hi to me, I would probably give him my number. Ooh. Not knowing that it's also the guy on the left. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You should leave me alone, I beg. <laughs> all right. I hope you guys have learned a few tips or all those tips from our Daily Top 5. We'll go on a break. And when we do get back, our second set of guests will be here. Don't go intelligent.